be advised. If the opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good morning, I'm Dean Hernandez. It's Thursday morning. Welcome to Pinoy Matters, the business portal, your gateway to business opportunities at the Global News Network here in Destiny, uh, Cable Global Destiny. I am here today to discuss the wonderful things about real estate in the Philippines today. And we have a lovely young couple, uh, the husband, is the president of Unibuilt Real Estate Corporation, Mr. Vince Abad Santos, and his lovely young spouse is Jeanette Young Abad Santos, who is the senior assistant vice president and head of the marketing division of the Philippine National Bank, uh, head of the special assets division. So welcome Vince and welcome Jeanette. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for having Thank us, Dean. Good, oh, morning. Well, Good morning. Good morning. It's Good wonderful morning. to have you here because um, in the past we've had um, executives, single guests, but here we have a lovely couple and maybe later on when we have time we'll talk about a little about their wonderful romantic uh, story which will inspire a lot of you. Okay, so let's start with Vince. Vince, uh, I understand yes, you spent some time in the U.S. of A. Yes, uh, I was there from, uh, by the way, thank you for inviting me here. Uh -huh. Us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'd so, love to have you <laughs> here, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, um, to start with, I was in the sta States um, from 92 to 99. Okay, I had a doing what? I had a business there. I was a franchisee of uh, Subway Sandwiches. Oh, okay. And, That's, and, uh, we have some of that here, yes, right? Yes, yes, okay, yes. Yeah. But uh, in the States, they're more popular than here. I mean, man, doon, they're very health conscious. Yes. And then uh -huh. after about seven to eight years, I, uh -huh. I said to myself, na, it's very monotonous in, in, in America. And uh, I, Philippines is still my home. So I yes. decided I packed uh -huh. up my bags and uh, uh -huh. came back here. Uh -huh. to the Philippines uh -huh. and uh, uh -huh. for me this is home this is where I will prosper uh -huh. and Vince Abad Santos I know the Abad Santoses have very clear roles in Philippine history Takasan ba mga Abad Santos Vince? We're uh, Dean were from Pampanga okay. uh, my great grandfather was the was the hero Jose Abad Santos um, uh -huh which is your 1,000 bill and uh, oh okay <laughs> 1,000 bill yes and there's three there. The, there are three there okay one of them is yes. the hero yes the well, Vicente Abad Santos uh, one of them is Vicente Lim one of okay. them is Escoda and, and one Jose. is Jose Abad Santos, Jose Abad Santos. Uh, ah so yung Vicente at saka yung Jose Abad Santos no no Vicente Lim and Escoda yeah. and then Jose Abad other, Santos the are, oh. are, are all in the in the 1,000 yeah. bill but mm. you got the first name of one of them and the last name <laughs> no, no. of the uh, other one <laughs> yeah. incidentally, incidentally my grandfather uh, uh, was uh -huh. named Vicente uh -huh. which he was the Secretary of Justice yes, I know uh, that uh, one of the Abad Santos is very uh, known for helping strengthen our judiciary. Yes, uh, yeah. he was That's Secretary of Justice for uh -huh. uh, the longest time under Marcos and then uh -huh. he was appointed by Cory to be uh -huh. uh, the Supreme Court uh, Justice. Mm -hmm. okay. And then he retired at nine, uh, 1987. So. Yes, so Vince, after spending time in the United States and then when you got back to the Philippines, how did you get into real estate? Well, um, when I came back, um, just my my mother was also in real estate. She was doing very well, mm -hmm. and she told me, you know, uh, why don't you join me in real estate? So I uh -huh. I uh, I tried it, and uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it clicked for me. <laughs> it clicked for you. Yes. Yeah. So uh -huh. for so many years already, from when when I started now, I'm already in 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 the fourth uh -huh. and. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
uh, doing business in real estate in the fort and having a hotel, which we'll be discuss later. Yeah, later, uh, later on. We have a very exciting <laughs> hour. But let's go now to Jeanette. Now, Jeanette is from Ateneo de Manila. And Vince is from the other school, the green school, but he's wearing blue today. <laughs> okay, uh, and uh, Jeanette has been in marketing and she is now presently with the Philippine National Bank, right? So how did you get into real estate? Well, actually, my forte is in marketing. Okay. And the Philippine National Bank needed uh, a marketing head at mm -hmm. that time mm -hmm. to be able to market the... We have about 15,000 titles in yeah. our possession, which we need to sell. Mm -hmm. as quickly and as rapidly as we can. These are those that were foreclosed, foreclosed because, yes. you know... Over the years. Over I the mean, years. Yeah, so 15,000 titles, ladies and gentlemen, if yes. you are interested in possibly acquiring some of those properties, Jeanette Abad Santos is the person to see at PNB. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Not only that, we have a lot of um, advertisements that are being, uh, uh -huh. you know, uh, uh -huh. given out right now. We have some auctions and also uh, sealed biddings that we do every month. Yes. So those of you GNN subscribers, we have how many branches of PNB all over the country? We have 324 branches all over the country mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. abroad. Mm -hmm. We have about 113 um, mm -hmm. affiliate uh, branches. Mm -hmm. And since this show is. Pinoy Matters, it, Philippine National Bank is, I think, one of the most popular banks for our OFWs. Oh, yes. Uh, you have your because remittance of the, services. Yeah, because of yes. the remittance services. Uh -huh, that's, that's uh -huh, the, that uh -huh. comprises the 113 uh -huh. all over the world. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, Jeanette and Vince have a very interesting love story to tell. And <laughs> probably that's one of the reasons why Vince decided to come back to Manila. Vince, would you like to share a little <laughs> uh, love story to keep our program light I, I, and I, joyful and loveful? <laughs> I, I, I thought, Dean, uh, we would uh, <laughs> we would discuss <laughs> business. <laughs> yes, first, you know, no, business. no, 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 uh, no, because real estate, and since you're going to be talking about hotels, it's about uh, life and living. Uh, okay. Life and living. Mm -hmm. Okay, in a nutshell. Uh, uh, in a nutshell. I don't know. Yeah. Well, might as well, uh, it should be coming from the Athenian since... Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, he's going to say something that uh, that's, you know, uh -huh. that's uh, not right. Uh, uh, I, I will, I will baka, correct you. I, will correct. <laughs> I was a cheerleader for the Ateneo uh, in the year 67. So the rivalry of La Salle and Ateneo has really been going on. That's it's right. like Yale and Harvard, no? And um, it's very interesting to see a nice young couple who are doing great in nation building. In fact, that's the reason why we're having them here. Because Pinoy Matters is supposed to show how innovative Filipinos can be, and this young couple really personify exactly that, right? Wow. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, young it's La Salle who went after Ateneo this time. Ah! No, but, uh, uh, with the arrow, the arrow with of hard the work. archers. Okay, with the hard, archer, work, with hard work, hard <laughs> work. And I should, uh, uh. I should commend the Athenians that uh, they have very good taste. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> our president Pinoy <laughs> is an Athenian, but he has the green team also working around Of course, around the cabinet him. members are yeah. mostly green Nasa archers. Light. Yes. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. It's okay. only Kanchawa and Dean, but you know, at mm -hmm. the end of the day, everybody mm -hmm. should yeah. get together mm -hmm. to All build the, the nation and you yeah. know. Uh, but i think this is one love story that is lovelier the second time around because i think they were sweethearts when they were still in school in high, high school. school oh high school. imagine yeah. in high school so and then what happened uh, we, went our we went our separate ways she went uh -huh. to the other school i went to the <laughs> best school <laughs> okay <laughs> And uh -huh. she married, and uh, uh, I uh -huh. married. To the Ateneo. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then, so and you now have his, hers, and ours? Yes. Uh -huh. No, not mine. After uh -huh. 20, 
20 years, uh, uh -huh. we got together and now we're... Oh, after um, two decades, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a sucker for romance. And so wow. this yeah. is really very exciting to see a young couple who are able to uh, come from opposite camps, so to speak. Not young anymore. We're already 40 years old. Ah, uh, no. You don't look it. You look 40. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to our topic on okay. real estate development and innovation. Let's go first to Vince. Mm. What is this thing that you are heading right now as president of Unibuilt Real Estate Corporation at the fort, right? Yes. You have a development mm. in Taguig City mm. at the fort in front of St. Luke's. And having been with the uh, Medical Tourism, Wellness Tourism, and Philippine Retirement Authority for the past three years as its executive director at first and then the chair for lifestyles, we are trying to position the Philippines as a tourism destination and hopefully people come here for their medical procedure like in St. Luke's and then hopefully they live here for the rest <coughs> of their life. So how is your entity going to be one of the manifestors of this dream that we have? Well, uh, luckily, Dean, uh, we had purchased a... Uh, location right in front of St. Luke's. We are already 80% done uh -huh. and uh, yes. um, it's going to be 70% hotel. Okay, I think we will have some visuals on the yes. what your rooms look like. Yes, okay, this course. comes from your brochure, yes. all right. And 30% will be residential apartments. Um, we have engaged the services of Best Western Mm -hmm. Premier. Premier. Because, as you know, the man, Best Western in the States is three star. I live there, yes. and uh, that was three star, but three you're star. taking it a level higher. Yes. Uh, okay. Best Western has already, they, they, they are very aggressive in Asia mm -hmm. that they will become five star here in Asia. That's why they called it Best Western Premier. Okay. okay. In fact, when I met Vince at a function, the night after, I saw it on Bloomberg. I said, Oh my gosh, here is Best Western Premier and it's coming to the Philippines very soon. How soon will it um, be ready? We are, we are targeting the end of the year or at the most, the first quarter of next year. First quarter. Yes. Now, how can we interest our viewers in Global Destiny mm. and Global News Network? We're seen around the Philippines with our uh, cable partners, uh, and our uh, solar uh, s sports channel we're seen in Mongolia to Indonesia. If they're interested, are there still possibilities for them to acquire interests or units in the Best Western um, Premier? Unfortunately, we are already um, 100 fully. fully. Wow, uh, so you must fully. build your next <laughs> <laughs> Best Western Premier. Yes. Okay. And, uh, uh -huh. what the good, the good thing here is, Dean, is we will be the first and only hotel for at least four years in Fort Global City in the really? Fort. Really? Yes. You mean there's no hotel No there? hotel. No hotel. How interesting. We will be the first hotel for uh -huh. at least four years because Shangri-La is uh, now building. It will take them four to five years. Okay. And kami, right. we are in the Philippine stock market will be, mm -hmm. will be uh, mm -hmm. constructing soon and uh, by first quarter of next year we will be operational already meaning we will be the only hotel in Taguig for that matter for some time for at least four years four years yes. ladies and gentlemen even if uh, let's say the units are already fully sold yes okay uh, the opportunity for business uh, ladies and gentlemen as uh, mentioning to Vince if you have the capability uh, let's say you own a resort or hotel in the world, in Asia, or in the Philippines, there will be a reciprocal agreement that you can sign up with Mr. Vince Abad Santos so that you get credits or incentives for sending yeah, uh, uh, guests. Yeah, Best Western Premier, premier yes. guests. Um, right? What uh -huh. we have in mind is, because not all people will have that their ultimate destination in Manila. Some okay. of them will have in Davao. Yes, exactly. In Cebu. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And we can have some re reciprocity with yes. other hotels uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, to, uh -huh. you know, to accommodate mm -hmm. uh, the uh, foreign, 
Uh, retirees, or, 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 or balikbayans, yes, yes, yes. no? Or and, OFW. Um, 